Welcome back on the one and only challengers for embattled and now suspended Commissioner Alex Diaz de la Portilla's District 1 seat now sharing their thoughts on his arrest. He and attorney William Riley are facing a long list of corruption charges in local tents. Terrell Fournay joins us live with what they had to say to our Glenna Milberg on this week in South Florida today. Terrell. Yeah, first off, a lot of drama here at Miami City Hall following this arrest. But the big question now, uh, how will this empty commission seat for District 1 be filled and who will fill it? Suspended Miami Commissioner Alex Diaz de la Portilla has been out of jail now for several days following his arrest on a host of corruption charges like bribery and money laundering, criminal accusations that he calls bogus. This is a work of fiction by this prosecutor. This is a Democrat a Democrat state attorney from Broward County who's targeting a Republican commissioner from Miami. But with an election just months away, competition is high for Diaz de la Portilla's District 1 seat. Appearing on This Week in South Florida, Marvin Tapia, who's been knocking on doors of constituents within the district as a qualified candidate. Unfortunately disappointed with the uh, the lack of representation, with the lack of of. Uh, of movement that they've seen. No, nothing has happened. So I tell the, the residents, if you're happy with what you've seen in the last four years, you know where to vote, you know who to vote for. Miguel Gabel has also filed to run for the District 1 Commission seat, although he's currently in the midst of a lawsuit to determine his qualification status after a new redistricting map carved his home out of the district he's lived in for more than two decades. But his eyes remain on leading District 1. The, the sidewalks get for dirty. The streets are full of potholes. Uh, we need more uh, security, more police uh, in the area. Uh, and basically, uh, affordable housing is another problem that we have. And at the end of the day, the commissioner has had four years. Mr. Portilla has had four years to do the correct thing. And I see that he has not, not done it. So Miami City Commissioners, right now they have less than two weeks to decide collectively if they want to appoint someone to fill that empty District 1 seat or perhaps hold a special election. So more news to come on that ahead of the regular general election. But that is the very latest from Miami City Hall. I'm Joel Fournay, Local 10 News.